Hey guys, Bridgie here, and in this video we're going to talk about glass morphism. So if you're interested in uh, creating uh, glass uh, UI designs uh, and uh, all of these uh, visual design styles which uh, are trending on Dribbble and Behance uh, these days, uh, this video is going to help you achieve uh, those effects. In fact, we're going to create uh, this iOS app uh, from scratch uh, and uh, you're going to learn uh, all of the techniques uh, and uh, intricacies of creating uh, something similar to this. I also want to remind you that uh, I recently discounted uh, temporarily my Figma course. So if you're interested in bringing your Figma design skills to the next level, feel free to check it out. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so we're back in Figma and uh, the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to rename this uh, to iOS. And we're going to go right here on the top left and we're going to create a frame. And we're going to use this phone preset, which is iPhone 13 Pro Max. So let's click on it. And we're going to double click on it again in order to rename it to one. Now, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to create the very first headline text. So let's go over here and let's write discovery mode. This is going to be the main headline. And we're going to use Lato, which is a free Google web font. So let's uh, make it bigger. In order to download Lato for free, you can simply go on Google and look for Lato and then the font, and you're going to find it right away. So let's uh, actually, before we continue, let's go ahead and let's out uh, and let's add a layout grid. And in this case, we're going to use the columns. Let's use two columns. Let's add some margin in order to give it some breathing room. And we're also going to change the color of these columns to be lighter so that they don't interfere as much as we designed this. All right, so we have our first headline. Now we're going to make a a much smaller text which uh, is going to be uh, the main uh, name so let's write here actually let's do it capitalized concerns we're going to make it quite smaller let's bring it up here just above the text we're going to make a gray all right at this point let's add a oval on the top which is going to serve as the profile picture of the individual who is logged in at the moment and we're going to add a photo in just a moment but before we do that let's hop on the nuclear icons and what we're gonna do is we're going to add a hamburger menu which we're going to select this one Let's increase the size just a little bit. Let's bring it over here. Let's ungroup this. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to go under Figma plugins and we're going to use a content reel. Now, if you don't have uh, this uh, Figma plugin already installed, simply go under plugins, browse plugins in community and in uh, data, Page, which is going to open up, you're going to be able to search for a content reel. It's one of the most popular plugins, so you should be able to find it right away. All right, let's uh, find uh, a um, avatar, which uh, looks well overall with the color palette that we're gonna use. And now let's uh, create uh, some uh, different rectangles. And actually, what we're gonna do is we're going to create the first one, we're going to round it up all the way. And uh, let's uh, bring this uh, text here above. I'm going to write finance. I'm going to make it black. And uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to make this uh, section completely white. I'm going to use a drop shadow in order to <clears throat> give it some uh, visual separation overall. And uh, we're going to search for an icon which is going to be related to finance. So in this case, probably going to use this one here. I think it looks good. 
and uh, let's uh, go ahead uh, and uh, let's uh, resize this now in the thumbnail of uh, the original video i used uh, another set uh, which is from uh, ui8 so feel free to use uh, the icons which uh, you prefer for this specific uh, uh, ios screen just uh, consider that those were premium icons so you might as well consider uh, other options if you don't want to invest or you can find similar ones for free on the web uh, simply search for like free icons and you know there's going to be like a bazillion um, options that are going to appear so i'm going to write a calendar for the second icon and uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm going to add the uh, uh, this one right here and I'm going to try and match the size it's not going to be an exact science especially since some icons are going to take more visual emphasis than others and uh, you have to be mindful of that as well so let's write here right this transactions Let's make these icons smaller too. I'm going to write a bank in this one. I just found this, this icon, which is perfect for this specific case. All right, let's center it up. Now, let's use shopping cart for the very last one and we're going to add an icon such as this one all right so we're doing uh, we're moving on uh, pretty well this one and uh, at this point what we're going to do is we're going to create a duplicate of this text I'm going to write here top downloads and i'm going to make this uh, smaller overall and we're going to create uh, a few different uh, um, icons so this one's going to be whatsapp i'm going to be facebook and uh, we're also going to use snapchat all right we have them all over here 